in this session, we're going to highlight how to connect Power BI to Business Central. Now there's three areas that we will navigate to. First, I'll show you how to connect to Power BI. So making sure that you have a Power BI license uh, and then connecting that to Business Central. And then I've got a couple of tips and trips, tips and tricks, pardon me, on how to navigate Power BI. Uh, and then we will go ahead and design a report. And then I also have some areas around the tips and tricks and how you can import some of the, the sample reports the Power BI team has provided you. So let's begin by connecting to Power BI. And so there's been significant updates and changes in our Business Central Connector for Power BI. You are welcome to uh, read more about that experience on you know, what it used to be in terms of relying on web services and exposing those web services pages. Uh, with this new connector, we're introducing support for uh, the v.2.0 APIs from Business Central. So this uh, right now, in terms of how to develop and connecting reports, but let's focus on how do we get this connected. So I'm in Business Central, and if you scroll down the page, you may have seen this in the opening section where we talked about some of the navigation, but you have this Power BI reports, and so if I select Get Started, you'll see that is prompting me to make sure that, um, when I set it up, that I have a Power BI license. So I'll go to the Power BI homepage, and that'll launch this page here. So again, you could probably just go to powerbi.microsoft.com or let the wizard kind of guide you through. Once I do, I'll sign in using that same username that you created for the workshop, and then select on the Power BI portal. So I have effectively now enabled or turned on the, the free license uh, that I have that comes with Business Central with these tenants. So we'll go ahead and select Alt Tab on your keyboard and then we'll come back into Business Central. So now that I've authenticated, right, it sees Business Central notices that and it says we're going to upload a sample report for you from Power BI. So we'll select on Next and then hit Finish. This might take you just a couple of seconds, maybe a moment or two. And if you hit refresh, there you have that sample report that we've provisioned uh, and that's connected from Business Central and Power BI. How do we, so let's talk about how do we connect additional reports. You can do that in Business Central. I prefer to go back into Power BI. And on the bottom left corner, you see where my cursor is, where it says get data. You've got four choices, either reports that have been published by the organization. Uh, I could bring in files or databases. In this case here, I'm gonna focus on services. And what this does, it brings me into AppSource, uh, and then at least services the page from AppSource. And then I'll type in Business Central and I'll choose some of the first party reports or dashboards that are coming from Business Central. So here you can see I have one called Finance. You can kind of see a preview of what that is. I'll select Get It Now. I'll put in my name, the work email. Again, this is where you're going to copy and paste. Put in your region and phone and then hit Continue. And then follow the prompts on the screen. Install. And then once this is done, you'll get a toast message on the top right corner. You can either go to the app or open the app right here. And again, it looks just like the screenshots that we saw from the sample report in AppSource. If I want to open up that report, you can see here I get some of the sample data. But notice at the top, it says I'm viewing this in sample data. Do I want to connect that to Business Central? So I do. We'll select Connect. You'll edit the name. So again, make sure that this is the same name that you have in Business Central. If you haven't made any changes, most likely it's going to be Kronos USA. 
right here. So you see the company name I want and then remove the sandbox. So ultimately what you want to have is Kronos USA with a comma, INC with a period, and then change that to just be just production. Follow the wizard, hit next. We'll use the OAuth 2. And I haven't set any privacy level setting for the data source. This is my demo environment, so I don't need to take any additional precautions. And then connect, and now I can come back into Business Central and uh, notice if I scroll down, come into reports, if I select the report, I now have that finance report that I brought in from the Power BI service. So if I select OK, there's the report. A couple things you can do right from within here, you could manage the report. So again, you get the option to make a couple of edits and, and changes. Here again, I'm in Business Central, but I have some design capabilities of Power BI within the construct of my financial system. And you can see here down at the bottom all the tabs of the different reports that make up that dashboard. I can select the report and if you want, again, this is another way of getting reports. Here in the list, as the you know, in the menu, you see we're under get reports. I can go into services. So this models or mirrors what we just did in Power BI, uh, it gives the filter of Business Central. And let's say, for example, I want to bring in the sales information. I can hit get it now, install, and now I've got both of those apps running here. So I have financials and I have that sales data. So those are two ways in which you could connect Business Central to Power BI. Now, just a couple other tips and tricks to navigate Power BI. Again, you could do this from Business Central. You know, like as we did earlier, you could select on this, right click, open up in a new tab. Uh, under my workspaces, you could see here, I've got the financial report. Uh, so you'll see you've got a report, a data set and dashboard. Under the report, Something that you can take advantage of and highlight to your prospects is thing around Quick Insights. What Quick Insights does, it generates interactive visualizations based on the data. So this could be run on an entire data set or on a specific dashboard tile. And again, this is part of these advanced algorithms that are giving people insights beyond just staring at a spreadsheet or beyond just staring at uh, let's say, for example, charts and dashboards and columns, but uses machine learning to find insights into the data without going through all of, of that data. So we can see anomalies. I can see that in this case here, you know, again, not such great sample data, but we can see that total revenue is noticeably less than our actual net change. So you can scroll through, find the cards, uh, find the chart and the dashboard that makes the most sense as you're telling your story. You could select home and then we're back to getting started with Business Central. Now in the live workshop, what I like to do is give audiences and attendees the opportunity to explore. And some of those additional labs could include, uh, you know, going out and downloading some of the Power BI sample reports. Uh, that is, again, you know, choosing uh, at least one of the lists, open up the dashboard, choose the report, and open up the workbook. I chose the customer profitability sample. You know, there's about seven or eight that are in that list. And then the other thing that you can do as uh, additional labs is to create a new Power BI report. So in this example, you can, you know, choose from the data set and then start to drag and drop the elements that I've provided with you. So I've given you guidance on which to choose from and then change the visualization to a map and then add that to your Business Central homepage. So a couple of extra areas in which you might want to explore to learn more about the integrated experience with Business Central and Power BI. 
to find the samples, again, from the home page here at the bottom left, you could do get data to get to this screen. And then here on the bottom little text, it says samples. As I mentioned, I chose the customer profitability. Feel free to explore any one of these eight examples. And as you're adding them to your business or to your Power BI experience, we can then incorporate those into Business Central. So you choose on the tile that you want, you'll connect, and then you'll notice here I have that customer profitability sample where I can drill into that report. And then to design a per report, you know, here I am, I've chosen Dynamics 365 Business Central, the sales one, that was the second one I imported. Using the data set, I'll select the ellipsis and I'll create a report. So I'm just using the web-based version, I'm not using the desktop. And then on the right side, you can drag and drop. So under the item sales by customer, I've got uh, customer and quantity sold. And then I'll choose a tree map for that visualization. And then you can resize that. And it's kind of nice, you've got the, uh, the boxes where you can, can see that I can resize my chart, my dashboard accordingly. Then under item sales by customer, I'm gonna create another area, uh, another data set. I'll combine item number with the quantity sold. And this here, I'll just choose the stacked bar chart. I can add a text box. So I can enter, you know, here's an ad hoc sales report. And then I could drill into that particular customer. So just a, a simple and easy way to show you how to connect Power BI to Business Central, navigate Power BI, design a report, and just get you familiar if you're not already with Power BI. Uh, there are two examples in the demo playbook where this has been highlighted for you, and that is either the owner or the sales manager demo. Again, this is just a simple way to help you understand how to connect Power BI with Business Central.